And I still don't know if I fully understand it. And this seems like the perfect time to ask the question. What's the deal with the front tire pressure thing? Like, mm. why are they not allowing them to run lower pressures yep. and and to get the we're we're dealing with a tire that doesn't work as well, but we're also not allowing them to run a pressure where they work better. And we saw the situation, I think it was last year, where uh, Acosta had the cracked rim, so they let yeah. him get away with the lower tire pressure. Um, I'm really curious your thoughts on this. Why, like, what's the deal with the front, even though, like, we're only one more year on Michelin? Uh, yeah, so on the on the front tire, so l- let me explain the tire really quick, what's weird about this thing. So think about your street tire or your track day tire, Think about the pressure that you normally run in the front. Let's say 34 PSI. Something like that, right? 30s usually is yeah. pretty normal. 34 maybe. to 36 yeah. is most street bikes. The Michelin front tire. So now think about MotoGP. Now think about the forces that that tire goes through, the downforce, all We're of already talking things, about like right? 60 pounds potentially. And you're thinking, oh, it must. they must have to run a ton of pressure to keep the tire, to keep its shape, to not just collapse, right? Do you know what the minimum pressure is on the front tire? I'm GP. dying to know because I don't think I know this. 1.8 bar, right. which which means nothing to us. <laughs> <laughs> That's why I had to go look it up really quick. Oh, you're looking it up. Yeah. This is your 1.8 bar. It is to... 26 pounds, 26.1 Oh my, pounds. that would be a flat tire on it. Like I've ridden on a 26 PSI front tire yeah. by accident and it was so squirmy. Yeah. Yeah. Right? So now now there's some, there's some other factors at play. Don't just think about your street tire at 26 because you run typically if you're on a sport bike or you know 17 inch front wheel it is probably a three and a half inch front rim that's mm-hmm. the width of the bead to bead we're running a rim. 120 width tire so you're running like a 120 maybe a 125 pirelli that's their thing is the, the slightly wider front the current moto gp front tire is a 140 oh i had no idea it was that wide yep much much wider oh my so gosh so now think about we ride mountain bikes think about how mountain bike wheels have changed how wide? The wheels are getting wider and wider and wider. The rim is wider, right? That's what I meant. Like the yeah, rim yeah. is wider, yeah. Because now, what's, what's your rim right now? Is the oh, thirty? I think it's like, yeah, I think they might be thirty ones or something. Right? Yeah, thirty it, something. But like it used to be like twenty six or twenty four. It was like I the, remember I had my my previous bike had twenty three point five. Yeah, and that was like the hot thing at the time. Yeah, and I think it's yeah. And now mine are thirty. So what that so so what that's doing here? Think about the let me not knock a microphone. <laughs> If you think about the rim, if the rim is really narrow, the tire, even if you run a wide tire, the tire is pinched between the beads. It's like a mushroom shape. Right? Right. And so you have this, this rim here and this big pinched kind of tire shape. If I run a wider rim, now the tire can be bigger in diameter, but it's also spread across a wider... Effectively, think of like... Think of standing with your feet side by side and somebody pushes you. Well, it'd be less likely to fold and deflect Same, as you're yep. in corners and so stuff. If, like, if that was a problem the, with mountain bikes, right? That the tire would, it would literally over. roll off of the rim if you threw it into a corner too fast with too low a pressure. It would just pop off the, off the side. So that's exactly what we're saying here. So they run a slightly wider rim and they run a wider tire. And so it's more stable. So you can run, because now what pressure do you run in your mountain bike? Oh, I'm like 15 to 18 PSI. Right? Yeah. Probably under 20, right? Yeah. But back in the day, what were you running? 30 something on a mountain bike? Yeah, like 28 to 30. Yeah. yeah for so sure. th- anyway, that's long answer, but that's this that's no, the that's reason. Really enlightening, actually. Yeah, why so, they can get away with these really low pressures on the front. What's the problem with going below though? Why okay. are they so, crit- being so, so now critical let's of that? so that's the technical side. Now let's talk about why. Okay. Your Michelin. You have your stickers on every single bike. You have your stickers across the banners on the outsides of the racetrack. Everybody knows they're on Michelin tires. <laughs> you paid a lot of money for that, oh, yeah, for that privilege, like, yeah. right? Now you have a front tire fail on the racetrack. Oh, man, do you not want Michelin badges anywhere? Right. Okay. Even though, like, a fan might... Well, we choose products based on who's in MotoGP. Sure. For sure. I guarantee you there's somebody who's watching right now or listening right now who runs Michelin tires because Michelin runs MotoGP, mm-hmm. right? And so you you don't want to see it. Oh, I don't want front tires fail. Even though that the tire press. is nothing at all <laughs> like the tire you run yeah. on your motorcycle at home. Right. There's still that. So, I see. So now the risk is, hey – we want we need to run these tires as low pressure as we can because if they're too high pressure, then there's no feeling, there's no grip. I want as low pressure as I can. If I let you run now, because right now we say they have to run 26 psi. If if Crazy. they went out on 22, 
I don't know if that's better. Maybe that's too far, but let's just say now what's happening is that tire's flexing so much and they're leaning and it's pulling on the sidewall with all that heat and for how long their races are, all that flexing cyclically over and over, eventually the layers in the rubber can start to fail and come apart. It basically pinches and starts coming apart. That is why there's a minimum is because Michelin, yes, okay, there's a safety aspect. They don't want people getting hurt. But at the end of the day, Michelin cannot have a tire catastrophically fail on track. Right. That's bar none. That's never, that's why Michelin makes the rule. It's not Dorna. It's not MotoGP saying 1.8 is the minimum. It's Michelin saying 1.8 is the minimum. And if you go under, I forget what the rule is. I think it's something, somebody in the comments can clarify this, but I think it's 40% of the race. If you run... Oh, that's right. There's like a percentage of the race you have yeah. to go over and you get like a three or six second penalty. But it's you're, big. It's like 18 seconds. Oh, is it 18 it's seconds? Huge. Oh, yeah. yeah, yeah. That it's a big penalty. penalty. Yeah. So if you run, you have to run like 60% of the laps over... And they've got onboard pressure sensors the whole race. If they find that you're running under the pressure for too long of the race, then you get penalized. And and I think there's stages of how painful the penalty is, but there's anyway, it's pretty painful. And and we've watched a few guys lose podium spots because of it this right, year. We have, yeah. So that's the that's the weird stick with it with the front tire.